Well, what better way to celebrate soul than talking to one of the legends? He has sold more than 75 million albums. Uh, cha-ching. And topped the charts with seven, count them seven, number one singles, including Easy, Three Times a Lady, and Night Shift. Please say hello to William King of the Commodores. William, hello. Well, hello to you guys. How are you doing today? <laughs> We're doing good. Thank you so much. Right off the bat, um, I was hoping that you could settle uh, an argument. I say that Brick House is about the three little pigs, but uh, Bill says it's not. So who's right? What? <laughs> okay. It's actually uh, about a uh, uh, lady. You know, the perfect lady for each guy. William, you formed the band with Lionel Richie and Thomas McCleary when you guys were just teenagers. Tell us a little bit about the backstory. We were in college. It was our freshman year. And uh, I was literally just walking through uh, the rec area and saw uh, two guys shooting pool. And I walked over and we started talking. And one said, you know, I, I play saxophone. And I said, well, I play trumpet and keyboards. And the other guy said, I play guitar. So we said, well, let's get together. Yeah, I heard you picked the name Commodores out of the dictionary. Is that true? It is true. Flipped open the page and I just put my finger on it. I was blindfolded, by the way. And it came out to be Commodore. And when it first came out, the guy said, oh, no, nah, that's not crazy enough. But you know what? We stuck with it because we thought, you know, we said we were going to stick with it, and so we are. And so we kept the name Commodore. William, you signed on with Motown Records, all right? And then you guys went on tour almost immediately. You opened for the Jackson 5. How did that feel? Look, we knew what we were doing, right? I mean, you know, we had, we had been together all of, I don't know, uh, a couple of years by then, though. Um, we were very headstrong. Uh, we thought we could play anything, do anything, you know. Um, but it was great going out with him. William, you had a number one hit song, uh, Night Shift, which is such a beautiful, emotional song. It pays tributes to the great Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson. Talk about your relationship with those gentlemen. Why did they serve as an inspiration to you in the band? Well, you know, Marvin Gaye used to come by the studio when we first, our very first recording, when we were cutting Machine Gun. And he would come in, he loved to play basketball. And he would come in and drag us out of the studio. And we'd say, look, man, we're paying for this time. We don't have time to play basketball. But he would drag us across the street and we would shoot hoops. That'd be midnight, right? Meanwhile, we hadn't recorded one note. Okay. <laughs> so we got to know him fairly well. How vindicating was it to score such a huge hit with Night Shift after Lionel Richie left the band? Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> you mean my brother? When Richie left, so did a lot of people. You know, it's easy to abandon ship. I never knew how easy it was until I saw people jumping off of it. And so once we had the song and they all started to drift, try to drift back in, man, I felt really good. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Good for you. 